Hi everyone, this is Luis and Beth, Home DIY. And today we're going to do okay, an so outdoor table. This outdoor table, we're going to be using some red wood and we're choosing some that are nice for the tabletop and also some pressure treated wood that we're going to be using for the frame of the table. So now we've laid out our seven planks and we made our selection based on the color and the character and what we want our final table to look like. Make sure when you're laying out the planks that you put the growth rings facing down. That way if it rains and the water hits the table, the water will go off to the sides. Now we've flipped all of our planks over. Make sure that you keep your outside edge nice and smooth because you don't want any knots on the outside. Our first cut we did was with our long skirt here and we wanted to leave enough space on the end so that we'll have room for our leg. We're using stainless steel screws yeah, good, because good. regular metal screws could react with the red wood and leave a stain and that would be it. Next we use this the scrap wood to make a little jig with a one inch spacer so that way as we were screwing it we slid that down the way and made sure that we were real consistent with our spacing. The last thing we did was use this handy dandy Craig jig on the end here and basically make some pocket screws there so that when we put the leg on the end you won't be able to see the screw holes. So we glued it and we screwed it. The sucker should be on tight. Here we have the slats for underneath the tabletop. We cut six pieces of one by threes and right now I'm making these pocket holes. Uh, they're going to be attaching the slats to the skirt of the table. And I'm using this Craig's jig, very useful, to uh, make those pocket holes. on the end to make sure that our edge was flush and we used shims so that we could keep the spacing consistent. You want to make sure and keep a gap between the boards so that the rain can go through and we used those pocket holes we made earlier to attach our slats to the skirt. We just finished putting 10 screws for every slat. That's 60 screws. Is it happy hour yet? We attached our leg frame to the table using two screws in the pocket holes here on either side. And then we did two screws her plank all the way across. We put these little white feet on the ends, that way it would keep the table off the floor just in case it gets wet. Here we are making our leg frame and what we did is we notched the legs, the leg post, so that the support, which is the short skirt, can sit right there. We put a little bit of a profile there. We we set some holes for these screws. They're going to be screwed in here, two of these per post, and we pre-drilled to avoid any splinters. Okay, now we're ready for the final cut. 
what I'm going to do here is I have a straight edge that it's exactly the width that I want, which is just a little bit of a shave off the edge here so that we have a nice, clean, straight edge. Well, the hard work's done for today. Yay! <laughs> nice job. Tomorrow we stain and then we'll be ready to dine in style. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 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 Cheers.